Hey everyone, DMV Solar Rider here. Sorry for the audio overlay, but the other day I had to change my schedule and I was able to get to a demo day at Indiana Fredericksburg at the last minute. Off I went, having given zero thought to how to present my rides, basic info and specs about the 2020 bikes and all of that. So I'm just going to share my rides with you. I'll mix in some basic specs and pretty pictures for each bike from Indian's website, where you can go yourself for more detailed info. Mostly I'm just going to share how each ride felt to me. Just keep in mind I've only been riding for a year with about 13,000 miles under my belt, 5,600 of them on a 2019 Indian Scout, and 7,500 on a 2019 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. Hope these are helpful. If you're curious about these bikes, ride safe. Alright guys, next up is the 2020 Indian Scout. My very first motorcycle ever was an Indian Scout, so I'm looking forward to riding. It'll be like back home, back back to, to home week, old home week, I don't know, whatever. Let's see. It's all kitted out for touring. You got your saddlebags, you got your trunk bag. It has the, the new fairing they came out with last year for the Scout. I don't know, I mean, I like, it looks good. But uh, I don't know if I really would want a fairy. I had a uh, 19-inch windshield on mine, and that was great. Came off easy enough. Yeah, this is quick re release, too. You just pop those things. There's a hook on this side you take off. God, guys, I'm just telling you, I put 5,600 miles on my Indian Scout. Most of that was with floorboards. I am so weirded out by pegs. It's so bizarre. It just doesn't feel right to me. So weird. And honestly, one other thing. The forward controls on the Scouts, this, the Bobber, they are super forward. On my Chieftain, it has, you know, forward controls, but the floorboards are so huge that, and I'm so short, that it's basically like mid controls. My feet are not straight out like this at all. This takes a lot of getting used to. I don't miss it. I mean, like, you know, and I didn't really think about that when I was doing my review on my Chieftain, but honestly, everything in the Chieftain is so damn big, the floorboards are so long, that the way I sit on it, it's, it really is like mid-controls. I mean, this is my seating position on my Chieftain, not this. Unless, of course, I got my highway pegs on, in which case, that's just a whole different ball game. Oh, it's so light. <laughs> So light and airy.
on that big touring bike just blew right by me. Oh my god, I'm turning into a, a wimp. <laughs> so used to going out for nice lazy Sunday rides. I don't remember how to go fast. And I already feel the heat on the exhaust burning my pants. <laughs> Yeah, you ever get a Scout, that's the one thing about this bike, is that exhaust is brutal. Just no other... Nothing else to tell you about it. I would love to have a full-size Scout, not the bobber. <laughs> Just put some low bars on it. Take the back fender off. I don't know why I would do that instead of just buying a, a bobber, but... Such a great motorcycle. Just, I mean, guys, you're looking for a great cruiser, you don't want to ride a huge touring bike, I cannot more highly recommend this motorcycle. It's a true pleasure. I can't imagine why anybody in their right mind would get a Harley Sportster over this. And I don't care about the modifications you can make to a Sportster. You don't need to make them to your Scout. Even on this bike, I do not miss leaning forward like this at all. I mean, I, I didn't miss it on my on when I rode the Chieftain Limited. I, I wasn't missing that. I am so used to my bike now. I just can't imagine riding anything else. It's crazy. great feels great but man I am so spoiled by the riding position of my chieftain now I just can't believe it can't believe I put 5600 miles on this bike I don't think I could do it now I think I'd go nuts shoulders back 
Although I swear to God, this seat feels better than it ever did before. Maybe they put some more padding in it. I don't know. Sorry for the wind noise, guys. It's so hot out today, and I'm not, I'm just playing around. I cannot have the vents closed in my helmet to try and cut down on the wind noise. It's just too much, it's too hot. Got sweat pouring down my face. Oh, I love the sound of this bike. <laughs> That's a fast bike. guys I cannot shift with pegs my toe of my boot keeps getting stuck between the peg and the shifter pain in the ass I feel bad because it's doing this bike a disservice should be whipping up on these chieftains I'll tell you guys, I have been working really hard the last two weeks. I haven't touched my Chieftain since I filmed, uh, well, my next video. I won't say what it is, but it's been two weeks. Two weeks tomorrow. This is the first day I've ridden in that. That might be the longest stretch I've gone without riding my Chieftain since I bought it. Pretty sure. Pretty good way to get back on the road. <laughs> 